Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting a debugger has found running in your system error on your Windows computer. So typically this will come up when you're trying to launch a game or another application of that nature and you're getting this error pop up. This tutorial will be for you. The first thing I would actually recommend trying to see if you can open up your antivirus and add an exception for your executable or whatever your game launcher is. That seems to resolve most of the problems, so a lot of it has to actually do with your antivirus. And since there's almost an infinite number of antivirus and anti-malware variants out there, I really can't show you guys the specific one for every single product. But just go ahead and go online and look up how to add exclusions for your antivirus, specifically processes or files or programs. However, your antivirus would typically segregate these. And that's something you would definitely consider. And there's also other ways you could do about it as well. So if you had any restore points, you're welcome to go ahead and try and open them up. So if you open up the start menu, type in system restore. If we went under create a restore point, if you had any restore points made on your computer, you can feel free to go back in time and restore your computer back to a previous time. So you just configure your restore point, hopefully you already have them automatically enabled. And you also have the ability, if that didn't work or that didn't resolve the problem, if you went underneath Windows Update. And if you want to check for updates, I was just checking for any updates also. So there's a couple of different ways how to hopefully resolve the problem. It's kind of a generic issue. A lot of it, like I said, has to do with your antivirus or anti-malware application. So that would be more antivirus specific, but I hope that I can lead you guys in the correct direction. And once you know you have to add an exclusion for your antivirus, it shouldn't be that hard to find the information you're looking for. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.